I'm going to recite uh, La Noche Oscura, The Dark Night, by San Juan de la Cruz, St. John of the Cross. St. John is considered to be one of the greatest poets in the Spanish language. But he was also one of the greatest mystics uh, in the history of Christianity. So that brings together two extraordinary worlds, greatness in poetry and depth of spirituality. When we hear this poem, at the end it leaves us with two tastes simultaneously, which is the greatness of it. It's able to convey in a poetic way, as opposed to a prosaic way, the essential character of mystical experience, which is paradoxical. Mystical experience is experience that is simultaneously deeply sensorially rich and at the same time utterly vacuous and benighted. He's able to give us the taste of two things simultaneously. On the surface, it seems to be talking about a young girl sneaking out secretly at night for a romantic adventure. But of course, it's really a direct description of his own experience of oneness with the spiritual source in a state so deep that self and world as a thing have disappeared, as, but yet their richness has reached its fullest form at exactly the same time, in exactly the same experience. So we can taste after you are have, at the end of the poem, if you sort of close your eyes, you'll see you're left with the paradoxical taste of mystical experience, a sense of great richness and fulfillment, and a sense of utter vacuity, timeless, spaceless transparency, both at exactly the same time, coming from exactly the same source. En una noche oscura, on a dark night, con ansias en amores inflamada, on fire with longing for love, oh dichosa ventura, oh happy venture, salí, I left, sin ser notada, unseen. Estando ya mi casa so cerrada, my house being still at last. A oscuras, in darkness, y segura, and safe, por la secreta escala, by the secret stairway, disfrazada. Disguised, O oh, dichosa ventura, O oh, happy venture, a oscuras, in darkness, y encelada, and concealed, estando ya mi casa so cegada, my house being still. At last. En la noche dichosa, into the happy night, 
en secreto, en secret, que nadie me veía, for no one saw me, ni yo miraba cosa, and neither did I see anything. Sin otra luz y guía, without light or guide, sino la que en el corazón ardía. Other than that, which burned in my heart. Aquesta me guiaba, this guided me. Más cierto que la luz del mediodía, more certain than the light of noon. A donde me esperaba, to where he awaited. Quien yo bien me sabía, one well known to me, en parte donde nadie parecía in a place where no one could find us. O noche que guiaste, O night that guides, O noche amable más que la alborada, O night more lovely than the light of dawn, O noche que juntaste, O night that unites. Amado con amada, the lover with the beloved. Amada en el amado, transformada, and transforms the lover into the beloved. En mi pecho florido, on my flowering breast, que entero para el solo se guardaba, which I reserved for him alone. Ahí quedó, there he dwelt. Yo le regalaba, and I caressed him. Y el ventaje de cedros, Aire daba, while the cedars fanned us with their breeze. El aire de la amena, the breeze came over the castle wall. Cuando yo sus cabellos esparcía, as I ran my fingers through his hair. Con su mano serena, with his gentle hand. En mi cuello hería, he wounded my neck, y todos mis sentidos suspendía, and suspended all my senses. Quédeme, thus I dwelt, y olvídeme, and forgot myself. El rostro recliné sobre el amado. My face resting directly upon the beloved. Cesó todo. Everything stopped. Y dejéme. And I was set free. Dejando mi cuidado. Abandoning my cares, entre basucenas, olvidado, forgotten among the lilies.